Boy. I'm just at Swan Creek Park. It's starting to starting to get a little bit dark. Uh, I'll be making this video and uh, heading back to the car. Um, yes, the rain bonage has certainly begun. To to quote uh, uh, agent of doubt for that word rain bonage. Maybe he got it from somewhere else, but whatever. I think it's a great word. <laughs> Hashtag rain bonage. Um, <laughs> you know, this is such a huge step, and it's caused so many right-wingers, Republicans, and neophobes to just shit their pants. Figuratively. Hopefully not literally. You hear that? I can shit my pants for free. Wow. I just may ship my pants. Yeah, ship your pants. Billy, you can ship your pants too. I can't wait to ship my pants, Dad. I just shipped my pants and it's very convenient. Very convenient. Um, that would be quite a smelly situation. Um, you know, uh, 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 rain bonage causing anal leakage, you know. Um, but they're upset because people are going to view them as bigoted. If they still want to say, oh no, we still can't allow this, and I mean, there's some places that are saying, well, we're gonna, we're gonna go against the ruling, and it's just like, uh, <laughs> you're gonna look just like the people who were trying to stop uh, interracial marriage. We don't want to be viewed as bigots. Well, that's tough. If you have bigoted views, you're gonna be viewed as a bigot. I'm, I'm sorry. If you're going to have homophobic views, and yes, people don't like the word homophob homophobia, homophobic, because, oh, we don't have a fear of them, we... Yeah, yeah, give me a break, okay? Don't go into the semantical bullshit, okay? You know exactly what homophobia means, you know what homophobic means, you don't want that kind of label attached to you. And in order to not have that label attached to you, you'd have to actually reanalyze your views, and that's not something that neophobes like to do. So, you know, tough, tough. Some of them are spouting that it's, it's the, it's the, it's the social 9-11. It's just like, oh my fucking God. Some of the ridiculous things I'm seeing come out of their mouths. Anyway. So this is, this was a huge victory. But the work isn't done. There are still... I'm trying to remember even how many states there are that, that still... gay people can be fired just for being gay. There, there's still so many states that gay rights are really not established in. There are definitely still a lot of social attitudes towards gay people that, that you know, hopefully will be addressed soon. Um, there's still a lot of transphobia. Some people might call me transphobic because I, uh, because I don't understand transsexualism. I, I don't get it fully. But I fully believe in people's, in people's rights, as I've said before. Uh, you know, you, you shouldn't, tra transsexuals shouldn't be discriminated against. They're, they're, I think bathrooms need to be unisex. So there's no more, no more of these arguments about whether or not someone's in the correct bathroom or not. Just, just end all that shit. End those arguments. Um, and I don't think, I don't think transsexuals should be treated like shit. They should, we, should, we should treat people like people. I mean, we're all people. Um, we've got a lot of work to do still. Uh, it's not like this one victory just solved everything, because it, it didn't. It didn't. But, you know, over the next few years, uh, so many of the people that are currently still homophobic may actually get out of that mode. Because they had to. Because they were viewed as what they are. Just like all these people trying to shove forth that the, the Confederate flag, that doesn't stand for racism. Yeah, it does. You know, it's not like anyone's stopping you from flying. You can fly your Confederate flag all you want, uh, but but now, oh, but, but people are going to, you know, you're upset that people are going to view you as bigoted for flying it. Well, you know, it's, it has, it's a symbol of bigotry. 
You can fly it if you want. But it's kind of going to be viewed now like as if you're flying a swastika. You know? Oh, well, that's not what it means. It just isn't what it means. Well, you know, tough shit. If you think it means some other thing, tough shit. The majority of people view it as a symbol of racism. It's been used by the KKK, it's been used by white supremacists, and, you know, the symbol is ruined. Any good thing that it actually had is ruined. So, just stop using it. Just like, I don't use the label feminist to describe myself. I may believe in equal rights for women, I may believe in, you know, that women shouldn't be treated like shit, I may believe in us trying to try to make uh, both, make it so men and women have equal legal rights and make it so socially men and women are considered more close to each other than they currently are. That doesn't make me a feminist, that doesn't make me an MRA, I don't like either of those labels, they suck. I'm sorry, those labels suck. They've been ruined by the people that have messed it up. Just like the Confederate flag has been ruined. And really, it's, it's, it's for, for people to think that, that that government should still be flying this when it generally is a symbol of anti-government sentiment, I mean, come on. That doesn't make any sense.